Hey, what's going on, guys? Um, sorry for the video that I'm doing right now. It's not my usual production value, but um, just things got away from me tonight, so I just figured I would uh, do uh, do this video on my phone real quick. Um, I went to go see Birds of Prey, and this is all this is, is a Birds of Prey movie review. Very quick, short, right to the point. Um, I thought it was okay, and when I say okay, I'm simply giving this movie a uh, 6 out of 10. Um, the story just kind of felt all over the place for me a little bit. Uh, a lot of the stuff wasn't like really landing. Like there was some jokes in there that were funny. Um, I, I guess it just, it just goes down. It comes down to me really not being a, a big Harley Quinn fan. Um, I loved Huntress, really liked her. I wish they'd explored her character more and maybe in the future they will. But yeah, she was cool. Renee Montoya didn't really care much for her. And then Cassandra Cain, same as well. Uh, and then you have um, Black Canary. They didn't utilize her as much as they should have. Um, she had a couple cool scenes, but again, they should have had more with that character. Uh, the soundtrack, the music was okay. It didn't really pop in my eyes. Uh, it didn't really work as well as it should have. Uh, the, the things that I was kind of bummed about was the, the fight scenes. Is you know I heard the guy who directed John Wick... Uh, he got involved and did a bunch of the, the fight scenes with the girls and everything. And it didn't really, uh, I didn't really see that as much. I mean, when you watch John Wick, you, you can tell this is like some good choreography and good fighting. And in Birds of Prey, I really didn't get that as much. Um, and then you have, of course, Black Mask and Victor Zaz. I, I did like Ewan McGregor's take on the character. Um, I'm not really familiar with how he is in the comics, but whatever he did for this movie, I enjoyed it. Uh, he definitely had a, a little twist to him, which was, which was interesting. Uh, Victor Zaz enjoyed him as well. And this was like honestly like a soft rated R movie. I from what I saw, I th I thought it was gonna be like way more cursing, way more gruesome scenes, and you know they were really gonna take that rated R to the limits. And I didn't see that with this movie. I, I thought it was like a, it could have it could have passed for a PG thirteen movie. But yeah, all in all, like I said, I would give it a six out of ten. Uh, again, it's fun to to being a DC guy. It's fun to see this universe expanding, and then adding more and more characters. Um, I I did hear a lot about this movie. Like I did see a lot of plot leaks before I saw this movie, and some of the things like the ending changed. It's not what I heard, and also. Um, I, I heard something that was going to happen in an end credit scene, which never happened. There wasn't an end credit scene, so I was pissed about that. I don't know if there ever was an end credit scene. But, I mean, yeah, if you're a DC fan and you like these characters, I would definitely say check it out, no doubt. But definitely one of the weaker films of the DCEU, in my opinion. So, yeah, that's my review. Um, let me know in the comments below if you guys have seen it, if you're going to see it. And yeah, again, sorry for the video quality for uh, this video for this review. I just, like I said, things got away from me tonight and just too much going on. So this is the best I can do for now. So anyway, guys, thanks. And uh, please subscribe because it helps me in return. I can help you. And as always, every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, new content's coming to you from Subjective Reviews. So don't forget to check that out. And thank you for watching.